Greetings, good night. My name is Chris. Wanted to make a vlog just discussing some of my ideas and points. You know, uh, my body was altered because of the recommendations of somebody who said 4,000 years ago, 4 to 10, maybe 12, that at some point the whole earth was underwater. Because of what a God who he needs you to listen to him said. And he goes, it turned out not to be true. The book that was swearing it was telling you the truth. That God is real, Bibles there, Jesus is real, Jesus is the only son of God, he's born of a virgin. Mind you, every mammal species, which we are mammals, has a foreskin. But this God doesn't like that. So it wants you to cut it off your youth. All right. So what I've realized is I am 35 years old. Zero times in my whole life has anybody said, as a man, I was genitally mutilated by a religious death cult that thinks God's a psycho killer and everyone's going to hell. And... They just don't say it because the response is you should suffer like Jesus suffered and you're a sinner anyway. <clears throat> well, if what science is saying that the Great Flood never happened, there's no period in history, not in any archaeological record, where all of a sudden the earth was underwater. No one's seen that. No one's ever seen that happen. Um, and if it, ha it happened all the same time everywhere, it would be the same strata around the same time the truth is there's cultures who existed before that cultures who existed after ain't no people live into 500 years it says noah was 500 years old before he had his first kid you understand this is a person who's kind of not okay with sex you know anyway yeah as if the bible is assumed to be the word of god you're gonna have a headache your whole life it's never gonna work if you assume the Bible was written by a psychopath and that he lied about God telling him to say it, then all of a sudden all the stories make sense. And it's important that we stop the genital mutilation of young men. You gotta talk about it first. You gotta say it's happening because it is. It's happened by the millions. It happened to me, happened to my brother, happens to babe. They used to teach until very recently that babies have no feeling because they've been genitally mutilating young people. All right, you got to stop that. Scissors and knives should never approach thighs. You should never, ever, ever do that to any person, man, woman, or child, ever. No. Every part there is feeling and is connected to the person who they are. You should love it and keep it and never tamper with that stuff. Don't cut any skin off baby penises. There's no extra parts. The glands needs a cover. There's no medical condition requiring that and no God told you to do that. Do you understand? You're not supposed to alter that part of young men. You should stop. And I'm going to stop you. Because I have nothing else to do. And I just discovered, a few weeks ago, it is. Like, I was out here, like, meditating. Like, I'm going to get it. And what I found is I had years of suppressed agony from a procedure that was forced on me from a death cult. And then had everyone scream at me, I couldn't complain. And I ought to forgive. Why don't you love and be happy more? Forgive more. Laugh more. God loves you. He has your name carved in his hand. He carved that shit on his hand. What did he do to my dick? This is a pain cult. Well, the problem is if there's no great flood, and there's not, there just turns out not to have been. It just isn't a fact. Then that means that the whole thing was a hoax. The whole thing. The whole Bible was a hoax. Do you know how many ideas that are just taken for granted come from the Bible? Well, do you still believe it if you know it was written by a fucking psycho? Like, remember, like, I keep going over this. What's his name? Uh, ben Franklin. He had bodies under his house. Dude was a serial killer. Dude was lopping them off on the side. You think, oh my god. It begins with how you treat and talk about people. You have to say good things about people, you know. I've been guilty in the past of calling the earth trash and saying it's not good enough. But I've also been angry because I was duped and hurt, right? Someone altered my pee-pee. 
And then it told me, they, they took the cover off the glands. It needs it. Every other species has one, and it feels weird without it. It's been permanently off. It's been permanently off. It, it was. It, it's a fucking attack. And the only reason it happens is the Bible tells you to. The freaking, the Jewish religions, the Jewish Christian Muslim religions are dick clippers and they're wrath of godders. And the problem is they all have a global flood in their story. They have a great flood. Well, we know it didn't happen. No such great flood ever happened. And so that means that all the people telling you you're going to hell and you got to modify your baby penises lied. And if they lied, it is evil. Everything that's been done in the name of that religion has been a mistake. Everything in Christianity has been a mistake. It's a parasite. It's made by a freaking sycophant. Someone someone who wants your stuff and is going to take it from you with, you know, poison. He didn't want young men to have sexual freedom because he was uh, fucking pissed off by what they would do with it. They would touch his girls. How many men do you know are completely obsessively isolative of other men? They want to cu cut them down, not around me, not good enough, uh-uh, me only, my, me and my women. It's put a lot of people off. So maybe this guy is like pissed off. He's like, yeah, cut all the foreskins off all your babies. And then you're going to hell. And then I, I hate that line in the Bible where he goes... You know, if you if you sin, it'll regrow. And David goes, when your loins are girded in the day of truth, he means, did you get circumcised? Was your penis fucking altered? And my opinion is the author of the Bible, the answer would be no. His penis had not been, and he knew what he was doing too. He knew it would be directly affrontive and aggressive, and that it would hurt. And he had left the clause saying, if you sin, it regrows, so they'll never know he hadn't had it done. And he wanted them to have it done because he didn't want them to touch his women. And the policy just got set down. Because the thing is, is no man who's had the sensitive peeling part of his penis cut off, they don't remove the glands. That you that you can sue for and get millions. But the, everyone's just like, oh, it's a great procedure. No, it's not. Every other mammal has a cover. You guys have driven off the deep end. It's like not acceptable. It is not acceptable that boys are being altered in that way. And it's shocking that I'm the first person I've ever known to say anything about it. I am. I've never known anybody to care about this but me. <laughs> they did the opposite. They grind into, you're wrong for caring. I'm not wrong for caring. You should stop mutilating baby dicks. Now, maybe man is such a chimpanzee ape, right? Maybe if you don't do that, maybe the Bible's like, yeah, I did you a wrong by lying to you. But you don't know who these people are. Like, these people are not... It is. It's a misanthropic idea. But everyone I've known is good with hugging. There's not a person on earth I know who doesn't like hugging in a sympathetic arm and a nice little shoulder bump. Like, everybody likes that. There's other ways with people than just being mean. We could have a hot orangutan society, you know? That's not bad. But we don't need to keep mutilating people's pee-pees. Every day that I wait... Every day that goes on is a day another child has this fucking wiener altered by a fucking death cult that thinks Jesus Christ is coming back. They think the world was underwater 10,000 years ago. <laughs> it's pretty much the Christianity has set the tone of Western society fo fully photoshopped aliens 100% in. You know, uh, <laughs> TikTok. All, all, all illusions in. You know why? Because Christianity set the tone for truth and it was just made up. It was just made up. You know, stop changing baby dicks. No more altering that. And I'm going to say it until it's done. I'm going to say it until it happens. Play this. If you want to play something at your school or on a speech, play a speech of mine or a portion of it where I hit these points. You know, put it out there that people should not continue because I, I have a unique role. I've been a spiritual person before. And I feel like I, I've just had a shocking revelation. The problem is, is I spent a lot of time out in nature meditating, looking for stillness. I believed in God because I'd taken psychedelics, right? An hallucinogen. But I had never found stillness. And the secret to stillness is this planet isn't still. And so when all those people said, be still and know that I am God, 
it was a it was a hoax. That never happens. That'll never happen to you. And so the thing about there never being a flood is that every single person who's lined up and swore to the because there's been a lot of people witnessing to the power of Jesus. But what I think it is is I think because you could die if you don't is that people are like genetically programmed to pretend there's a God through some sort of like psychic subfeeling. Maybe it really is real energy, right? Maybe there really is a ghost. But the idea that God told us to write the Bible and it says, in the beginning is the Word, and the Word is with God, and the Word was God, and that the Noah story is made up. The Great Flood is a complete myth. There's no evidence that happened. It would leave it would leave something. We would we would be able to tell. It'd be like the flood mark and every every no matter where you go. Every geological happening there would show evidence that a flood had been, right? It would be like the year the flood happened. But that doesn't happen. That's never existed. And every flood myth is a different time and different place and different circumstances, and they're all about river communities. And so what we found is, yeah, the ocean and rivers flood, and people talked about it, but there was never one great flood. And so that's the level of made-up delusion the Bible is. The Bible said a great flood happened, and it didn't. So when it says, you're going to hell unless you have Jesus, not true. Why would that be real? In the beginning of the word, no one was there to verify you made that up. A human being made that up. And the reason it matters is in the middle of Genesis, in the middle of where the, or, you know, in the middle of where the Jews came from, it says you're going to circumcise your young. And so we've had thousands of millions, we've had thousands of years of every man having their genitalia cut. Now this is something that is gruesome because it exposes the glands to the air and it's naturally uncomfortable. It's not a good thing. And the the cover of skin that protects the head is there for when your penis is in storage most of the time. It's supposed to be moist. That skin cares for it. And so what it does is the circumcision makes somebody innately uncomfortable with their own... The, the, the part of their body that would connect natively with their wife is missing. Right? It's missing. And so they never have that connection. And so, yeah, it's not a full castration... But it it, it is it is it's made by a group of people who don't want you touching their women no matter what. That is one hundred percent what it's about. One hundred percent. They don't want you near their girls. Why? Because they're a fucking man, and men are territorial d bags about that shit. It, yeah, I, I I've talked about this. You know, if there is there is you you should never ever ask a man if you can have any girl that you like. No, he's gonna say no. That's his girl. That's my woman. They're all that way. I can't change that about them. But those are also the people that start psycho cults and hurt people and lie. Right? You got to see the, the motivations of a man made the Bible. God wouldn't care about half the things. And he would, God, God, if God was the author of the Bible, the Bible would say things that were demonstrably true. But we have proven, you know, that very good artists and people who understand how to create an illusion of something have tried to pass fake holy relics off as real. You know, it's like, this thing's really old. No, it was found yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 was, it, was, it was literally created like a month ago. That's how old the threads are. You know, you can't fool us. We, we can see that stuff. And so people have tried, but they've never been ultimately successful in pulling off what we call proof of the biblical authority. And so what we're questioning is the alteration of young men's penises. We're just straight up saying that should have never happened once and the person who made it up was a jerk. And people are being negative effectively by it and there's no good reason to keep it going. And I'm the first person I've ever heard talk about it. You ever heard anyone else talk about it? I haven't. No one else wants to bring it up, but I do because it's bothering me. I don't want to be 20 years later with a whole U.S. population going, I wish I heard you talk about circumcision so I didn't get it done to my son. Because that's how it gets in, is the doctor goes, circumcise? And everyone goes, yeah, oh, it's in the Bible, go right ahead. But it cuts off a feeling part of his penis that has neurons in it. And there's no good authorship to the Bible. Trust me, I've had it done. It doesn't feel right. It feels wrong. It, 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 it's uncomfortable. 
People have been telling me that my whole life you're uncomfortable. I was like, why, why? It's because I was circumcised and I tried to complain about it. And all my family told me I wasn't allowed to. I was a sinner. I should remember. The Bible is a fucking attack. It's an attack from a psycho. Because here's the thing. If there's no great flood, then the authorship is not God. If there's no great flood, if that never happened, then that means the author was not God. It was a man with an imagination. It was somebody with an agenda. You know, people have fucking cut each other's fucking bodies to pieces before. Not everyone's nice. Not everyone's good. Someone with the wherewithal to eat a baby decided to castrate all the men ahead of them in history by telling everyone they're going to hell unless they have this magic current from this one guy. All the people who knew Jesus threw themselves to their death for... <laughs> It's a death cult. Show you're not afraid to die. It's some psycho with a knife edge playing fucking, you know. It's not the way. It's not the way. It's not the way. Good touches build better harmonies, you know. And you don't get good men by telling them they're sinners and cutting off a piece of their dick. Holy shit. Half the psychos you've ever had, you created through your religious practices. You know that? If there's no great flood, you need to stop modifying baby dicks. You do. Like, 100%. Across the board. Jews, Christians, Muslims, aren't halt. That was a mistake. That didn't happen, and we know it because there's no great flood. Religion's made up. Let's trust... <laughs> you know. I'm not saying prayers don't get answered. I've had 11-11 runs. I've had, you know, I, I won money at a casino. Like, there, there there's... But the other thing that I've considered is that beings who are programmed that you have to believe in God to survive would substantiate, co-substantiate God-like things happening. Nah, I've seen miracles in clouds. Yeah, there's got to be something going on, but did God flood the earth? Bill Nye says no. Bill Nye has spent a lot of time for many years saying that the Great Flood never happened. I'm just out here shocked. They're modifying baby penises irreparably based on the opinions of a fucking person who said the world was underwater once. Like, I don't know what else we want to say about it. Let's stop that. Let's leave male, let's leave man, let's leave men alone. Let, let, let's visit them. I, you know, I'm more impressed by somebody who visits a child. Right? All these people are like, oh, I killed 300 pedophiles. Like, did you? Did you spend one minute with a real baby? Because <laughs> only one of those two actions mattered. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's been enough, there's been enough harsh sword action from humans to humans for reasons good and not. I'd say we stop, and let's stop first with how we treat and talk about each other. The Bible was made up by a psycho, guaranteed. The end. The end. This is a great lecture. I'm a, I feel like a great lecture. I'm a good public speaker, you know. I care about this. I want to leave as many sound bites for history and as much of a work as possible. Like, I do see myself, like, can you imagine being played as, like, I'm socially out there to say circumcision should stop. You're not allowed to talk about it, but it's, like, dire. It's, like, actually dire. Like, you're talking about knives to baby penises. What? I can't even sit a day. I can't even sit a day, you know, this is, I almost made the TikTok today, I'm going to make a TikTok and spend like a hundred bucks to put it out there to everyone who will see it, who will go, I'll give them a synopsis of this, you know, no great flood, biblical author made it up, Jesus isn't coming back, but you should stop touching baby dicks in the meantime, there are no extra parts to baby penises, the thing has neurons in it, I've done that already and people go, king, right time, my man, amazing, you know, people are like, finally, so I want to put it out there, yeah, I want to spend a little bit of energy I have to go like, I regret that it happened happened to me. I felt awful about it my whole life. It ruined every social contact I had. And the reason it gave it to me was so that I'd be an isolated loner. How many people are utterly alone their whole life? Because the Bible said, no one will like you anyway. They're all going to hell. You got to ditch them. The Bible says you got to ditch other people for the fucking Bible church. It's psycho. And when you realize the great flood story was made up and all the stories of the obedience to God is a part of a concoction by a man... Holy moly, that is some fire. Like, someone whipped out a fucking lighter under my ass and said, here you go for your whole life, fuck you. You know? Some angry fucking squirrel. You ever hear squirrels talk to each other? 
get the fuck off my turf. Get the fuck out of here. That's how they are. That's how people in this planet are. Guys just avoid each other. They go like, and throwing all the men in prison who do that will make it more peaceful, I admit. Like, if you need to separate people whose behavior you hate, yeah, do that. Anybody ever makes you feel, I'm not for punishing people. I think that oversteps who we are as people. Don't punish people. But you definitely have a right to segregate dangerous people away and to use what force necessary to do that. If someone's out there munching on ears, you should push them down with a fucking gangplank and paralyze them. Hit them with a dart. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ugh. There's no, there's no mysticism to the removal of the foreskin. God didn't send you a package with the, the opener as a knife. You know what I mean? I don't believe in that type of God. I haven't, don't see that. I see people made some shit up and it's not getting by anymore because we have better standards of proof. We're just looking at where certain authors have said and the Bible is a pew pew. The Bible is a whoa. You believe what? It's... <laughs> It's, it's, it's all off the deep end. And some of the themes have to do with altering your baby's penis for no good reason. There really isn't a good reason for it. And it's offensive. It should stop. If you hear this today and you want to do something meaningful, say, circumcision is a sin. I believe babies are born with all the parts they need and you can't remove any from any gender. Leave it alone. You know, the problem that I, I got to talk about, like transgender, what I think about that. If you can't accept you, how are we going to accept the new you? <laughs> you know, because you change yourself because you can't accept yourself. Now, some people might be like, I'm a twisted shapeshifter. I want to I want to do it, undo it, feel it all, be a creature no one else has been, you know. Yeah, there might be uh, something to that, but don't, don't make that the standard. The standard should be no knives to genitalia. Leave, leave babies, leave all, leave all the parts babies come with alone. And I gotta say that because I've met girls who are missing their pieces because their fucking grandma had into them. You know, when we're talking about ending genital mutilation, we're talking about something that is so real it's frightening. No human has extra parts. None. Every single part they need to feel whole. As them. You can't cut any of it out. And touching all of it's good. You know, when a, I've seen an ape, she rubbed her fucking baby on her. Who cares if a baby wants to sit in her mom's lap? I've seen babies walk around hold. You know, that's what the muff is, right? It's the handle. That's what the baby has to hold on to. They come from you, you know? People are like... People have taken no to such an extreme, right? you got stop signs everywhere, laws, right? Where does that come from? It comes from the overarching vindictive dad of the Bible, who we know was written by a psycho because H.H. H. Holmes had a dead baby under his fucking thing. And so people who care about... This book doesn't say much nice about anybody, but it wants a piece of your child's dick? Excuse you! That's not the words of God. No way. And the Great Flood didn't happen? Fucking off. Not right. I'm mad. I'm mad. You're going to stop mutilating baby dicks or fucking else. I will come at priests with fucking garden shears. You don't need to fucking worry. <laughs> Leave every part that came with the baby on the baby. If he wants to when he's 18, he can do it. If he wants to do it himself, let him. But no, the Bible was wrong. You know why? No great flood. Great flood didn't happen. Garden of Eden probably didn't happen. You know, the flaming sword is the vagina. This person lived in a world where he, he, he just wasn't comfortable talking about sex. The author of the Bible was just a, a stranged out schizo person who was afraid to talk about sex. He wasn't comfortable with it. It was, and he just gained steam with people like that. People who were oddballs who thought their parts were naughty. It really is just weird like that. It doesn't give any good predictions. Yeah, okay. Chernobyl means wormwood and the angel of wormwood. That's just manifestation. Human beings with time and tinkering. You wouldn't believe who's figured out what stuff, you know? There's people who know what happened every day of the week for all time. They've proven it. There are people who are just... The people are on, right? Anyway, what I'm concerned about is there's a worldwide, pervasive cult of people who are modifying baby penises under religious authority and I have to question that like the lives of young people matter count to it 
Why am I the first person I've ever seen doing that? I don't know. But is this speech good enough? Do you want to see this on the street? Do you want to see this in New York? You know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to be like, stop modifying baby penises. Maybe I'll do it for 15 years. Maybe I'll change 100 million lives. That would be great. Jesus. You know, there is no Jesus. The, all the witnessing. Oh, and then when you know it's a trick, the rosary becomes like, a, it's your own crown of thorns. Like he wants, he wants you to replace your own head. I replaced my own head with Spider-Man wisdom. And then I cried at the stations of the cross. I sang in choirs. I knelt under the bed. I felt the pain and discomfort of circumcision. And you know what? I was an atheist by the time I was a teenager, but I wasn't allowed to question about my dick. Why had my dick been cut? There's n Every other mammal has a foreskin, and it feels weird without it. And the only reason you do it is the Bible says it. Well, we don't believe in a great flood anymore. It's an issue, guys. There's If there's ever a time to press stop in society and say something's up, it's right now. You're modifying baby penises on freaking hearsay. It should really change. should really change. That's a firmly held conviction that I have. And it is clear to me, through mathematical input, that... If I talk about it every day for the next 50 years, I could save 100 million lives. But if I don't do that, and I keep waiting for silence to do something, that's not an option. I will act. Don't worry, people. I will get this thing changed. I am mad enough, and I care enough, and I have enough precise skills, and I hate enough of the right people that I'm willing to do something about it. <sighs> You know, I, I'm for, leave, yeah, leave baby dicks alone. If it was done to you, admit it's uncomfortable. Nobody likes that. I need to sell some NFTs. Maybe, maybe, maybe this will turn into something. Yeah, my next plan is there's a great little turn at the at Santa Monica. And I'm going to go there with a sign that says, you know, stop altering baby dicks. There are no optional parts to a penis. You know, and I'm going to say that, and I'm going to flash that sign, and I'm going to do it for a few weeks or months. And all the right people, all the celebrities see that road. And I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to give it my best and go, like, there are no optional parts to a baby's penis. And I'm going to give them this, and they're going to change. It's going to, everyone's going to hear it. I was shocked. I was out in the woods trying to find God, trying to find stillness. Look, I didn't, I wasn't talking about this six months ago. This came out of nowhere. I had never mentioned this at all. And then it suddenly came out of nowhere. I was like, oh shit, I've been circumcised, right? Somebody cut a piece of my fucking dick off and you're doing it to babies all the time. And it's uncomfortable and I wish you hadn't. And I know God didn't tell you because there's no great flood. Jerks, there's no God, there's no Jesus coming back. It's made up, it's Spider-Man. It's as real as oop de goo Yeah, give this as a lecture. Let this, let this be seen in front of classrooms for hundreds of years. The time we decided to end male genital mutilation. Because here's what it's going to do, too. It is going to change how people, how men feel about men. It's going to change... I, I have more compassion for men knowing that they've been uh, affronted the way that they have. You know what I mean? Like... No wonder, because they're, they're cool people. Not every chimp's an animal. Here's the, here's the way you survive with real creatures. When they try to pull you around, push them back. Because that, that's one, because, yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't know. Everything has a mouth, and everything is an opportunist by the way this place is. You know what I mean? So, take it as far as that. And maybe the, the most shocking truth is, what if I'm a total fool, right? What if circumcision is the only thing keeping these animals in line? What if you have to keep trimming men's foreskins or they become fucking rabid rapists? I just can't believe that. I just have to say it's wrong because there's not enough factual proof in the Bible to keep doing something that drastic that doesn't look like it needs to be done because all these other mammals have foreskins. We, we deny there's any relationship between us and monkeys, but you can look at a chimpanzee arm. His forearm looks exactly like us and we have similar genetic similarity. You know, humans are unique, like even me. 
I'm a special person. There's only one of me, Chris H. I always be. Thank you, everyone. I, I understand myself a lot more now knowing what I went through. And being able to recognize is not sure and not good for me. I do. I, I recognize that. And so I'm willing to make a change. And that change will be to, <laughs> you know, it's a very zen attitude to use the feeling you've got. And so if what I realized is I'm in sexual discomfort because a part of me was altered and I was told it's, it's, uh, I should get over it, then uh, that's what I'm going to go on. That's how I'm going to rage out. You know, I don't care if I hang my dick out. I could put a fucking latex glove on my dick and stand up there with signs, you know, like I can protest. <laughs> I've been, I've been a marching band. I, I've, I've made a fool of myself in public on purpose just because I'm not afraid of it. I talk all sorts of shit. <laughs> but, uh. And I don't hate anyone, and I don't have anyone who really hates me, you know, I, I think people like me still, but, yeah, I mean, I was, uh, literally, like, just weeks ago, I was sitting out here, and I was like, Humpty Dum, Hare Krishna, and I was like, my fucking dick hurts, why is that, oh, I don't have my foreskin, the cover that touches my fucking penis, and my penis has been always rubbing on pants, and I've been getting told, no touching, right, you got your parents, right, they're running into you, you're a sinner, you ought to accept that's what they did to you, and no touching yourself, because you're in pain. Is that how it is? Is that is that the relationship that I have with the world that you have to touch my pee pee when I'm a baby and then tell me I'm awful and naughty about it? I don't understand how God said that. I really don't. It doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> it really doesn't. And so there's a there's a big problem where the Bible is a hoax. This is the most important thing that anyone could realize. I'm sorry you live and die. But living for others, that's what the Bible says, right? But I, I'm being honest. I'm just a person. No one's giving me a script. No God is telling me what to say. No one's inspiring words in me, right? I got I got a few brain cells in a brain and all these like senses going, this is what's up. Something happened to you that's bad. It's still happening to others. You got to stop it. You got to stop it now. You got to stop it yesterday. You got to stop it like it matters to be stopped. All right? We got to stop babies from getting generally mutilated by psycho death cultists. Please, if there's ever a reason to join a cause, it's got to be that. I'm going to go recruit. I'm going to go recruit. I got number one life path in my numerology and Aries rising in my astrology. I don't believe in either of those because, guys, I've just seen enough things from people. Trust me, bro, is on the menu. It's all a clown show with trust me, bro, on there. <laughs> it's... You know, that's why people like science. It's got proof, but that's not really science. It's engineering. That's engineering and just knowledge and testing stuff and seeing what works. Yeah, maybe that's science, but hey, we also see new things now. You notice the James Webb telescope, they didn't show you the first photo it took. They show you with some other stuff. Be aware all your senses just aren't proving your physical theories. You could just be in a loop, you know what I mean? I'm also a mentalist. I've seen how ideas can change things. Like, honestly, if you want to survive a circumcision, pray to God. And you may even get the blessing of have it not hurt anymore. I've seen that work. Like, I, I'm in a conundrum.